Hey guys, this video talks about how to upgrade your Dell Inspiron 11Z or similar model to a solid state drive such as a Crucial or a um, Corsair or Kingston, whatever, whatever you want. First step, remove the battery. Second step, remove a screw here, here, here. Once those screws are removed, flip it back over. You'll notice that generally the keyboard will pop out in the middle naturally. So you can take a card and get underneath that and run across to this corner over here. And once you have it on that corner, make sure it's loose and carefully pry it out. Once you get these edges off, slide it forward. There we go. Now, this is held in by a cable underneath here. You want to be careful not to damage that cable um, or bend it too much. I'm going to put a slight bend in it. Notice there's not a sharp bend here, but you'll see that now we can see the hard drive. Um, the stock hard drive, which is held in by the carrier, is held in by two screws. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. In the event you do um, get this connection loose on the uh, the keyboard, you can always put it back in. But the hard drive, there's a pull tab slide it this way and release it. It is held in by four screws. We need to remove all those. Once you have these four screws out, that will release the tray. So carefully lift the tray off, set your stock drive aside, and to line up the holes with your solid state drive. Definitely don't over tighten these, but you do want to have a snug, you do want to have them snugly, if that's a word, snugly. Uh, <laughs> you do want to have them in there snug, is what I'll tell, what I'll say. Now, this one. Actually, giving me some trouble. It looks like possibly our solid state drive um, on this hole, it looks like possibly the casing is stripped. Now this is a used drive. Um, I did buy it used, have not tested it yet. Um, let's, let's try again. If I still can't get this, I'm going to skip this screw. Three out of four is not too bad. There it goes. Just had to, it looks like just maybe the top of it was stripped on the actual solid state drive. Um, but, you know, when you're buying stuff used, you, you might have to deal with that sort of thing. And it wouldn't be the end of the world if you only have three screws in there. So let's put that back in. Start at this end. connects in there, push it this way. Let's uh, put in our two carrier mounting screws. Now 
make sure those are snug but not over tightened. So you'll notice our keyboard, it has these, these clips that align down here. Now you also have plastic clips on the side. Let me uh, focus this over here. So you have these clips and you have these clips, two on each side. So first thing is to push it all the way this way. And then you can work around and make sure these side clips are attached on right here and right here. It should be flush with the palm rest assembly. This bottom piece should be flush here. There shouldn't be a gap and you'll notice a bulge in the top. You can kind of push that down for now. Flip it back over. Let's put our three screws back in. You can also check my other video on in memory. It's pretty easy. You just got to pull this, this off. And I'll also show a boot time on this thing once a solid state drive is operational. Now, as you can see here, let's see. Okay. It does detect the drive just fine. Shows Crucial C300. Um, and that's, that's all there is to it right there. Um, have a good day.